Hello, I'm Sue Ellen Roosh, Chair of the Profile and Search Committee for the 10th Bishop of Albany. It's my pleasure to introduce Father Jeffrey Ward, Rector for St. Christopher's Church, River Hills, Wisconsin. Father Jeff, what is it about the Diocese of Albany that excites you and challenges you? Well, the first thing that really excites me is the sense of history of this place. Uh, you know, reading the 150-year uh, booklet from 2018, uh, it, it's clear that this diocese is just rich with history and fabulous leadership and fabulous congregations. And I find that tremendously exciting. I, I like the idea of connecting uh, history with present-day mission and our visions for the future. And uh, that's uh, part of my role presently as the board president of the DeCoven Center in Racine, Wisconsin, where Blessed DeCoven is interred outside of the Collegiate Chapel of St. John. And uh, in that role, uh, we really have a deep and abiding respect for that Anglo-Catholic history. And we're presently turning it into current mission, uh, reaching out into the neighborhood and surrounding areas uh, with uh, really, really important uh, offerings. And so I think, you know, that, that rich sense of history and connecting it with uh, the present day and, and moving forward is uh, very exciting to me. I also am very excited about uh, just, just the whole area here is just so magnificent and I uh, have some old familiarity with it myself, uh, having uh, been baptized at Grace Church Utica many, many years ago, and uh, also being at Grace Elmira uh, for a number of years in uh, middle school uh, as an acolyte and in choir and so on. And so um, I'm very familiar with the, the whole region, the Adirondacks and Catskills. And, and uh, so I, 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 I find that the combination of uh, the richness of uh, everything about uh, diocesan life here uh, in combination is really uh, both uh, invigorating and exciting and uh, full of challenge. And what is your vision of the ministry of a bishop and what gifts equip you to fulfill this unique vision in our unique diocese? Well, I, you know, I think it, first and foremost, a, a bishop has to be a true pastor of the people, um, the priests, uh, the deacons, uh, the laity, everybody. And, and that means real genuine accessibility and uh, an ability to relate to people no matter where they are in, in terms of their, their present day piety and their, uh, and, and their view on their worldview, their religious view. And I think that uh, part of it is a little bit like um, uh, St. Saint, saint Christopher, that's the patron saint of the church that I currently serve. And uh, with all the different kinds of stories that there are about St. Christopher, the one thing that's really uh, a constant is this idea of being a Christ bearer. Uh, that, it, you know, bearing Christ through these troubling waters and, you know, only to find out that St. That Christopher was, was bearing Christ all along. And I think that that really it, it speaks to me in terms of, of how we unfold our ministries and our religious life together, common mission. Uh, and, and again, just pointing back to the history, there's a lot of that, uh, you know, whether we look at uh, Bishop Oldham that uh, had the, the burden of carrying this uh, diocese through times of depression and war and uh, obvious tremendous challenges. Um, uh, all the way up to Bishop Ball, who uh, you know had the vision to see the changing demographic around the cathedral and and go into a uh, broader sense of ministry as a response. And so much of it is uh, not only just guiding through the troubled waters, but also just having vision for the present time and the future and what possibilities that there are. Uh, I, I'm greatly informed by um, a little plaque that my wife gave me when I first came to St. Christopher's. There's a little plaque that uh, on it, uh, it reads that the world is full of opportunities that are brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. And that informs me on a multitude of levels. It, it informs me uh, from a, a point of wonder. And, and I, I really believe in a, a true sense of wonder and all of the possibilities that are out there. It also uh, informs me in terms of humility. 
of knowing that I don't have all the answers and sometimes I have a hard time recognizing opportunity and that leads to uh, another component that is so critical and that is collaboration and when we do things together when we do things in a big tent format I think we're stronger I really believe that and I've experienced it many ways where things that truly did seem like impossible situations not only turn out to be opportunity, but they turn out to be great sources of joy. I think it's uh, uh, the bishop's responsibility to help to uh, help formulate that vision in collaboration with everyone. And you know, regardless of whether we're uh, embracing some of the beloved traditional uh, things of of our rich history, uh, which are fabulous or at times when we're embracing and dealing with uh, realities that are new to our understanding. I think in, in all cases, uh, the bishop's responsibility and indeed all of our responsibility is to respect every person exactly where they are. Just like Jesus comes to see us exactly where we are. Uh, when Thomas had his great doubts and Jesus comes and you know, gently says, here, put your hand on my side believe. And I think that if we do that, then we stand to learn so much from one another. And that informs our vision. It prepares us for uh, not only the present, but the future. And we do it all with joy in our heart and gladness and the beauty of holiness. Thank you.